there, young science enthusiast. It's me, Teacher David, and I will be your learning buddy as we explore another lesson filled with fun and learning in Science 6. We are now in the second week of quarter 4, and in this video, I'm going to help you identify and enumerate what to do before, during, and after volcanic eruptions. After going through this video lesson, you are expected to number 1. Enumerate what to do before, during, and after volcanic eruptions. And number 2. Show appreciation about the importance of safety precautions to observe before, during, and after volcanic eruptions. Philippines is located in an area known as the Pacific Ring of Fire or Circum-Pacific Belt. This area is home to almost 75% of the world's active volcanoes, where tectonic plates and faults are also found. It is where volcanic eruptions are frequently experienced. What is a volcano? A volcano is a mountain or hill with a vent extending from the top down to the Earth's interior. It expels magma by rumbling under the ground. A volcano can either be active or inactive. Active volcanoes are those that have erupted within 600 years while inactive are those that have not erupted more than 600 years. A volcanic eruption is the sudden occurrence of a violent discharge of steam and volcanic material. In Philippine history, the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo was a significant volcanic eruption in the Luzon Volcanic Arc. It was the world's largest volcanic eruption to happen in the past 100 years. The famous Kagsawa Church was buried by the eruption of Mount Mayon in 1814. Before we proceed to our lesson, let us have a short review of our previous lesson about how volcanic eruptions occur. Read the description of events of a volcanic eruption inside the boxes. Arrange the events by writing numbers 1 to 4 in the box above it. Place your answer in a separate paper. Are you done? Now, check if your answers are correct. How's your score? Did you get 3 or 4? Great! I am sure that today's lesson will be easy for you. If your score is 2 and below, I suggest that you take this lesson seriously for you to learn more. Volcanic eruptions, to some extent, may be predicted. Some signs like frequent tremors near the volcano with rumbling sounds, swelling of the ground, and increase in temperature of surface water are used to predict a possible eruption. When volcanic eruptions occur, we are all affected, but we can reduce the risk brought about by volcanic eruptions. The following are some activities to do before, during, and after an eruption. What to do before a volcanic eruption? Get ready for emergency kits or go back. Prepare hard hats and masks for ashes and falling debris. 
prepare all the necessary things to bring once an evacuation is needed. Strengthen roofs and walls to withstand loading and projectile impacts. Be aware of the evacuation plans and location of the centers in your community. Keep updated on the unusual volcanic activity through TV, newspaper, or radio. What to do during a volcanic eruption? Avoid low-lying places. Seek cover in case ash and rock fall. Keep all doors closed when there is a heavy accumulation of ash. Wear protective clothing, headgear, and high-efficiency dust masks. Be alert for advisories for possible re-evacuation to safer evacuation sites. What to do after a volcanic eruption? Use masks while cleaning ash and other debris. Adults may check on the livability and safety of the areas affected before going back home. Stay in the evacuation center until further instructions. Participate in community efforts such as cleaning and maintaining peace and order within the evacuation center. Thank you for listening and for participating in our activities. This time, let's do the following activity to test if you remember some key concepts from our discussion. Identify the following safety precautions before, during, and after a volcanic eruption. Write B for before, D for during, and A for after on the space provided. Write the letters of your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Are you done? Now, check if your answers are correct. What score did you get? If you got a score of 8, 9, or 10, congratulations! I am sure that you remembered a lot of ideas from our discussion. 
if you got a score of 7 and below, it's okay. You still have a chance to perform better in our next activity. Before we proceed to our last activity, kids, remember that readiness and knowledge on what to do before, during, and after volcanic eruptions would help protect ourselves and our family. It's quiz time! We shall now assess what you have learned today. Use everything you learned while watching and listening attentively in this video. Read and answer the following questions carefully. Write your chosen letter on your answer sheet. Are you done? Now, check if your answers are correct. What score did you get? If you got 10, congratulations! Great job! You learned well in our lesson. If you got 8 to 9, very good! Keep up the good work, children! If you got 7 and below, you still did well. Anyway, you can still go back to the discussion in the video and watch it again. Never lose hope, children! And that is the end of our lesson for today. I hope you had fun learning while watching and listening to this video lesson. Until our next lesson in science, keep safe and have a happy day! Music